in this problem, we have a 52 card deck. And again, if that's unfamiliar, just do a quick search for standard 52 card deck. And one of the, oops, one of the first things that comes up is a Wikipedia page. And that's what we're looking at here. It'll give a nice visual of all the 52 cards. Once we have that, we can answer this first part A. If a card is randomly selected, what's the probability the card is any one suit? Uh, either a diamond, a heart, spade, or club. And here we have uh, four different suits. So any one particular suit would be one out of four. So that's this first one, one out of four. These answers should be reduced fractions. Part B. Now it gets a little more tricky. Two cards are randomly selected. What's the probability of drawing a face card first, followed by a number card? All right, what's a face card? Face card is uh, basically anything without a number on it. In this card, we're going to count the ace as a one. The ace will count as a numbered card in this problem. So, all right, so drawing a face card first. And we're going to use Excel for this. So I have that open here. Uh, probability of a face card. So we need to see how many face cards there are. It doesn't matter what suit we look at, they're all the same. There's three face cards for each suit. So three across, four down, there's 12 face cards total and 52 cards in the deck. So this is going to be 12 over 52. So that's the chance of drawing a face card. Uh, we could turn this into a fraction. Um, I'll do that at the end. So that's the probability of a face card. It's about 23%. That should visually make sense. About a quarter of these cards are face cards. All right, now the rest of the question, followed by drawing a numbered card. Now, how many numbered cards are there? We count the ace as a one, so there's ace, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten number cards for each suit. So four suits, ten number cards. There's forty number cards in the deck. So we're going back to Excel. Probability of probability of a number card. All right, we're starting this with the equal sign. Equals. Now forty number cards. Forty. Uh, outcomes we're looking for. Now, normally it would have been divided by 52. However, we draw, already drew a face card the first time around, so there's not 52 cards, there's 51 cards now. And to be a little bit more precise, this was probability we drew a number. This vertical bar means given that we drew a face first. And because we drew that face first, that's why there was one less card in here. Now on this example, we drew a face card first and notice the face card, removing one of these face cards does not change how many numbered cards are left. So there were still 40 number cards left, there was not 39. We're about to do part C and that's where things get a little bit more tricky. If two cards are randomly selected, what's the probability of drawing any card of hearts first? followed by drawing a face card of hearts. So this one's tricky because we can draw any card of hearts first, which may or may not be a face card of hearts. So we have to account for both. Oops, so this is part B. Go down here, part C. Now, we wanted, uh, for any hearts card, that would just be one quarter. Uh, maybe it's better to do 13 out of 52, because we're gonna need to think about all 52 cards here. So our probability of drawing hearts is 13 out of 52, which is 0.25 or one quarter. But we have to be more specific. In this question, our second card we're gonna draw, a face card of hearts. So it matters, the first card of hearts, did we draw a face card of hearts or a numbered card of, heart, card of hearts? So I want to break this down to be more specific. 
So we'll go probability, I'll just call it face H, face card of hearts. And then we'll go with probability of a number of hearts. All right, face card of hearts. Now, the image is great for doing this. Face card of hearts, we're on the, just looking at the second row here. Three face card of hearts, jack, queen, king of hearts. Now it's three out of 52. So there's three face cards of hearts, 52 total. So probability is three over 52. Now probability of a number card of hearts, that's every heart card that's not face card. So there's 10 number card of hearts. So this one is 10 over 52. So now we're drawing our second card. So let me just label this first card. Uh, we'll do the second card here. I want more space to type here. So I'm gonna make that a bit wider, this, this uh, column. So we could have drawn a face of hearts first. And then my second card, my question asked, now I have to draw, I, want, I only want a face card of hearts second. So I'm gonna start by copying this, pasting it right here. Now I want another face card of hearts. And a vertical bar means given that we already drew a face card of hearts. And we're gonna compute the probability here. So now I have to think about it. There were three face cards of hearts, but we already drew one of them out. So there's only two face cards of hearts left. Divided by how many cards are uh, we drawing from? We removed one card, the one face card of hearts we already took. So it's two out of 51 are how many left. So this is how much to draw a face card of hearts given that we already drew a face card of hearts. So we're gonna do the same thing, drawing a face card of hearts second, but this time we're going to start with, we drew a number card of hearts. So I'm pasting it in here, and you have to double click to edit these. So I wanna do a face card of hearts, given that we drew a number card of hearts first. Now for this computation, because we drew a number card of hearts, there's still three face cards of hearts left. And there's now 51 cards total because we already drew a number card of hearts first. Okay, and these are our basic probabilities here. Now, I want to go face card first and then face card of hearts second. So I need both of these to occur. So here, here are my products. So I'm gonna multiply these two values together to get both of the probabilities occurring simultaneously. They both uh, need to occur, they're independent. So this is an and, this is not or. If it was or, I'd be adding, but this is and because I wanna draw a face card of hearts first and then a face card of hearts second. So it's and. All right, this is equal to, I'm going to go product and I hit tab or you can double click. So product and I'm holding down control and clicking the second one. It gives me the comma, enter, really small number. That's okay. Doing the same thing down here. I believe you can just duplicate this, drag it down gonna double click just to make sure it's giving me the two uh, correct cells multiplied together. It looks great. So these are the individual probabilities. Now I want to do the or. We're gonna add these two together because either one is a favorable outcome. So we're going sum and I'll just click and drag this time, enter. Okay, here is my uh, probability. I want to do this as a fraction. So we're going general 
uh, format, it's not good. Fraction, now we need way more precision, more number formats, and three digits, okay. So we have three out of 221. So that is a probability as a fraction. I never finished part B, did I? So we got a face and the number given a face. I just skipped right over this. We in the part B, probability of drawing a face first by number card. So I need to multiply these two together. So we go multiply equals product, hitting the tab key, click and drag, enter. So this is both occurring. I need to go fraction. And that's not accurate enough. Going to three digits. All right. 40 out of 221. Okay. 